So we've had another bit of a victory for teachers uh, this time in Arizona. Now, the New York Times is reporting that yesterday, Arizona Gov, uh, Governor Doug Ducey, uh, no relation to uh, Steve Ducey, uh, signed a budget bill that he said would provide teachers with the 20% raises that they had demanded, in addition to new funds for classrooms. Now, in response, the organizers of these uh, walkouts that have been happening for the last week have decided, you know what, uh, okay, good enough, let's return back to school. So, okay, hey, look, looks like there's a little bit of a victory, but there are, of course, details um, that need to be addressed. Uh, for one, how do they plan to fund these raises? Now, in Arizona, as in Oklahoma, legislators have refused requests to raise taxes on the rich. Oh, no. So I reported on that. I was like, they're not going to raise taxes on the rich. They're going to actually, well, where are they going to get the money? Well, of course, they're going to get it from regular taxpayers. Uh, in Arizona, same thing. The funding increase in Arizona will come from part of a new vehicle registration uh, fee and a change in the way that some school desegregation efforts are paid for. We are still talking about 2018 school desegregation. They still haven't completely done that or something in Arizona. That's it's insanity. Uh, and now they're going to take money from those programs and they're going to increase vehicle registration fees so to pay for this. Again, uh, look, I, I think we need to raise the wages of teachers and we need to increase funding in the classroom, but we don't need to take it from regular people and important desegregation programs. So now I would have loved to have seen the rich pay for it. Not because I want to punish the rich, not because I hate the rich. It's because they need to pay their fair share. Um, nonetheless, still overall good for education in general, even if I don't like the way that they're funding it. Uh, now, the leaders for the walkout themselves, however, they also feel the same way and haven't given up on the idea of increasing taxes on the rich. In fact, they have shifted their focus to support a ballot initiative to raise income taxes on individuals with income over $250,000 and couples with income over $500,000. So uh, there are the details on that. Now, we have more details on the supposed 20%. Turns out they didn't even get that much. Joe Thomas, president of the Arizona Education Association, said that despite Mr. Ducey's claim of a 20% teacher raise, the union's calculation showed the new budget guaranteeing funding for less than 10% raise. The bill restores only about a quarter of $1.1 billion in annual education cuts since the last recession. Mr. Thomas said, and does not guarantee raises for school support staff. So there's some good and there's a lot of bad here too, right? Yes, there's a little bit of a raise. It's not as much as they're actually publicly touting. And you have some money going to the classrooms. But unfortunately, what they're doing is they're taking it from regular taxpayers. And there are people that are left out of these raises as well. Still, nonetheless, um, there is something, right, uh, for their strikes. And, and look, this is, a, this is a completely red state, Arizona. Uh, and the lesson here that, that, that should be taken, while this is not a perfect solution, while this is not a fantastic solution, it's not even a great solution, it's kind of good. Um, it does show you that if you take action, you'll get something. And something is arguably better, better than nothing. Um, so, and look, uh, Arizona, as I said before, since they do have a Republican legislature, uh, they have for years cut taxes and you know, especially on the rich and cut funding towards education. So just like Kansas, just like Oklahoma. And what it took is it took teacher strikes to try to get these Republicans and even successfully, because when you think about it, Republicans even giving a 10% raise, that is huge, huge when it comes to uh, Republicans, because I don't expect anything from Republicans. And so even when they do the slightest thing, I, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually surprised and a little bit encouraged. Um, but look, the reason that they got what they got is because they were willing to stand up and say, you know what? No, we're not going to accept more cuts. We're not going to accept this. We're actually going to call for increases. And so they, they it just shows the power of labor 
uh, to be able to extract some concessions from Republicans. Now, that is people power. And it's a good example of it. Now, hopefully, this will lead to an even more engaged electorate uh, and will lead to even more demonstrations, which will hopefully lead to actual more meaningful reforms, not just in one state, but in other states as well and all over the country uh, so that we can finally fund education and fund teacher salaries to the level of which they actually deserve. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.